Proxima Centauri shoots out a humongous flare with big implications for alien life. The flare was about 100 times more powerful than those emitted by our sun. Now, for most of us that are not uh, astronomy savvy, Proxima Centauri is a small low mass star about 4.2465 light years away from our sun in the southern constellation of Centaurus. The object was discovered only in 1915 by Robert Innes in the nearest known star to the sun. Quiescent apparent magnitude 11.13 is too faint to be seen with the unaided eye. That this flare was 100 times more powerful than those emitted by our sun. Scientists spotted one of the largest stellar flares ever recorded in our galaxy. The jets of plasma shot out towards the sun's nearest neighbor, the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. The flare was around 100 times more powerful than any experienced in our solar system and could change the way scientists th think about solar radiation and alien life. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf. We have a red dwarf in the uh, outside of our solar system. It was found by NASA and uh, they gave a statement on that a few years ago. Now, Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf, smallest, dimmest, and most common type of main quescent stars in the galaxy, about 4.24 light years from our Earth. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Proxima Centauri is mass of only one-eighth of our Sun and it's orbited by two exoplanets. One of these planets, Proxima Centauri b, is considered to be Earth-like and it lies within the star's habitable zone, the Goldilocks zone, from what they say. The distance from a star that could support the development of life, according to scientists. And in a new study, researchers used nine ground and orbital telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, and NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. And they all went closely to monitor Proxima Centauri for a total of about 40 hours over several months in 2019. On May 1st, 2019, the team captured the Mega Flare, which shone for only seven seconds and was mainly visible by the ultraviolet spectrum. The star went from normal to 14,000 times brighter when seen in ultraviolet wavelengths over the span of just a few seconds. This is what the lead author, Meredith McGregor, astrophysicist, University of Colorado Boulder said, the power of this flare and type of radiation it emitted could change what we know about red dwarfs and the chances of life developing on the planets that orbit these red dwarfs. It was a humongous flare. Stellar flares are the result of a star's strong magnetic field, and these fields, which are created by large amounts of electrical charged gas, can get twisted together and suddenly snap back into place to result in enormous amounts of energy in the form of radiation kind of like firing an elastic band at someone with your fingers. This is what we see, and this is how the flares uh, take place on our sun. Now the flare on Proxima Centauri was extremely powerful compared with those emitted by our sun. And unlike flares from our sun, this one also emitted different kinds of radiation. In particular, it produced a huge surge of ultraviolet light and radio waves known as millimeter radiation. In the past, we didn't know that stars could flare in the millimeter range, so this is the first time we've got look, uh, gotten to look at a millimeter flare. This finding was possible only because the team monitored the star using such a wide for a variety of telescopes, each focused on a different part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's the first time we've had this kind of multi-wavelength coverage of a stellar flare, McGregor explained. Usually, you're lucky if you can get two instruments. The new findings suggest the stellar flares given off by red dwarfs are much more violent than previously expected, and they could reduce the likelihood of alien life developing around them. So that's bad news for aliens. 
The type of amount of radiation given off by Proxima Centauri could make it very hard for life to, su to survive on its orbiting planet exoplanets, which likely have no real atmosphere due to the powerful flares, according to researchers' explanations, but it's not impossible for alien life to exist there. McGregor explained if there was life on the planet nearest to Proxima Centauri, it would have to look very different than anything on our Earth. A human being on this planet would have a bad time. Other red dwarfs likely give off equally powerful flares, thus decreasing the chances that red dwarf hosted planets could support life, and they also flare much more frequently than our sun, for example, further reducing the chances of finding life in that star system. Now, Proxima Centauri's planets are getting hit by something like this not once in a century, but at least once every day, if not various times every day, McGregor said. The researchers now hope to use a wide variety of telescopes to focus on other stellar flares across our galaxy. McGregor said there will probably be even more weird types of flares that demonstrate different types of physics that we have not thought of before. This was from Astrophysical Journal Letters, published April 21st, first on, on Live Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.